I am the Lord. I change not. Oh Lord, are you sure my prayer will be answered tonight? Why not? Why did you say why not? For I am the Lord. I change not. Why did you know that God will take me out of this trouble? For I am the Lord. I change not. And that's why I am not. That's why will I not be consumed? That's why will I not be put to shame? That's why I will not be disgraced. Tonight, I I want you to open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord because the promises of God are yes and amen in our life. Shall we open our mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord? Bless him. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want you to pray tonight and say, Lord, you will answer my request tonight. You will answer my prayer tonight. I will not go the same way I came. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. I will not go the same way I came. I refuse to go the same way I came. I have come to hear from you. I have come to pray to you. I have come to partner with people of God so that we, we can raise a sound. So that you will hear our prayer. And tell him tonight if there are anything that want to stand against your prayer, Lord, through the eyes of mercy, take it away. Whatever we delay your prayers, whatever we bring denial to your prayers, the Lord will take it away. Holy Spirit will take it away. We say, for I am the Lord, I change not. And tell me why your prayer will not be answered. I tell you, it can hinder your prayer. Complain can hinder your prayer. You have never seen anything good that God has done in your life. He can hinder your prayer. Your faithlessness can hinder your prayer. If you are prostrated in life and you have given up, it can affect your prayers. Do you know some people have given up? Did you know some people no longer attend prayer meetings? Some people no longer go to church? Some people no longer believe in the Bible? They no longer believe in the efficacy of Jesus. Why? Because their faith has expired. They want it to happen by magic as long as it is not happen. They are in rancor with God. Such category, their prayer cannot be answered tonight. So, Lord, anything that wants to stand against me, anything that wants to be a barrier, whatever, big or small, inner sin, outer sin, change of trunk, Lord, take it away. Oh Lord, take it away. Oh Lord, take it away. Oh Lord, take it away. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ah. He said, For oh, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you will not be consumed. You are going to tell the Lord. In this atmosphere of hardship and hatred, in this atmosphere of austerity, I will not be consumed. In the name of Jesus, open Amen. your mouth and pray. I will not be consumed. I refuse to be a victim. I will never be consumed. 
the, the, the time of history. Because he is the Lord and he changed not. That is to say, he is the same God of yesterday, God of today, and God forever. Because he is alive. How will you know that God is alive? You will not be consumed. You will not be consumed. The Bible says the execution of the righteous shall not be cut short. Shall not be cut short. Why do you think your expectation will be changed? Why did you think God will not answer that prayer? Why did you think that you will repeat the same old prayer? He said, For I am the Lord and I change not. The person that is talking to you has power over all things. The person that is talking to you has power to make it alive and has power to keep. He can make you alive and you can keep the He said, I am the Lord and I change God. The same God in the north is the same God in the south. It's the same God from the west, it's the same God from the east. Therefore, you cannot be consumed. I refuse to be consumed. Something was consumed, I refuse to be consumed. Saul was consumed, I refuse to be consumed. Herod was consumed, I refuse to be consumed. There are several attacks of the enemy. And the Bible says, and the Lord said, because I am the Lord. And because I change not, you cannot be consumed. This is a strong promise. This is a sweet promise. A promise that no one can change. A promise that can never be altered. I am the Lord and I change not. I am the Lord, you will not be consumed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible says many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. Many are the affliction of the righteous. Many are those that do not want to see you succeed. Many are those that hate it when you grow spiritually. He said, Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. You are in the midst of people that you think love you. But all they do is to hate you. All they do is to plan how to remove you, to take you out of the way. And he said, many are the affliction of the righteous. See, he even told us, he said, they will gather together. When you are not there, they will call themselves together. In your absence, they will collaborate. And they will come together. He said, they will gather together, but not by me. Whosoever gather against me, you shall fall for your sake. You are going to pray. Every evil one that is gathering, ganging themselves against my life, Holy Ghost, destroy them. Holy Ghost, destroy them. Holy Ghost, destroy them. Let them begin to fall for my sake. In the name of Jesus, amen. Fall for the sake of uh, uh, money. Child. Let my enemy begin to fall for my sake. Open your mouth and pray. Let them begin to fall. Let my enemy begin to fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. In the name of Jesus. Ah, they will fall, they will fall. Wherever they gather, wherever they are, in the meeting point, wherever they are, Holy Ghost, let them fall. Wherever they are taking counsel, wherever they are taking decision, let them fall. Let them begin to fall now. They begin to fall now in the name of Jesus. Begin to fall. Many are the affliction of the righteous. The Lord, deliver him out of them all. Open your mouth and say, Lord, deliver 
deliver me. From every evil, deliver me. From every counsel, deliver me. Holy Ghost, deliver me. Deliver me of your counsel, Lord. I want to be totally delivered. I want to be completely free. I want to be delivered. I want to be delivered. You are praying tonight. You are praying tonight. Open your mouth and pray. You are praying tonight. Open your mouth and pray. You are praying tonight. Open your mouth and pray. The Lord deliver him out of them all. The Lord deliver him. How will God deliver you? He will break that yoke. How will the Lord deliver you? He will break the head of your enemy. How will the Lord deliver you? He will bring you out of dungeon. The Lord delivered him out of them all. The Lord will deliver you. The Lord will deliver you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have said amen, then say a big guy, amen. Amen. We are going to pray tonight. And we are going to tell the Lord. Everyone that gathered against me, let them begin to fall for my sake. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let them begin to fall for my sake. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they gather, let them fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. In the name of Jesus. Begin to fall now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to fall now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to fall. In my family. Anyone that gang against me, let them fall for my sake. In the church. Anyone that gang and David prayed a prayer. He said, Lord, turn the counsel of Ahitophel to foolishness. When the enemy have perfected plan over your life, and before they begin to execute it, turn it to foolishness. Before enemy begin to carry assignment over my life, Holy Ghost, turn it to foolishness. Shall we open our mouth and pray? Turn it to foolishness. Let them be foolish in their plan. Let them be foolish in their plan. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let them be foolish in their plan. In the name of Jesus. Yes. God, turn it to God, turn it to In the name of Jesus. They will discover that when they want to execute it, it will turn to foolishness. In the name of Jesus. When I eat of a dot, he has perfected his plan. I eat of a eventually committed suicide as a result of that prayer. Lord, turn their plans to foolishness. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One of the uh, fastest ways to dislodge your enemy is to cause confusion among them. When they when the people find a place in China, they built a tower there so that they could get to heaven. And when God looked down, he discovered that this thing is working. And if they will do this thing, we will not be able to stop them again. They will now become like us. <laughs> the most effective way to dislodge these people is to scatter their language. I want you to pray in the spirit and tell the Lord. Holy Spirit, scatter the language of every gang up against my life. God has scattered the language of demons. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. They have taken counsel to ruin you. They have taken counsel to take over your family. They have taken counsel to just make your life miserable. 
That language is a language of authority. Lord, I want to go and fight a battle. Go. For I am the Lord and I change not. Lord, they have taken everything. Should I pursue? Go. For I am the Lord and I change not. If you go, you will meet me here. I am the Lord. I, re I remain the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are going to pray. Everything my enemy has taken far away from me. Uh, the thing that belong to you, that have been taken far away from you, uh, you are going to pray tonight and recover all. Open your mouth and recover all. Everything. Everything. In the name of Jesus, I recover all. In the name of Jesus, I recover all. Everything the devil has told me, you say, I am the Lord and I change not. Therefore, Lord, I recover all. In your name, I recover all. In your name, I claim my property. In your name, I declare. And I declare that everything stolen away from me, be recovered. Be recovered. Be recovered. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, let there be restoration. Complete restoration. Total restoration. Full restoration. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Restoration. Complete restoration. They say I will restore the years that the cancer woman and caterpillar have stolen away. Do you know how many? Yes, you have lost. Do you know how many opportunities you have lost? Do you know how many doors that is set before you that you are supposed to penetrate? That you are supposed to have access to. But the door has been shut. Family wise, I recover. Marital, I recover. Open your mouth and recover everything. There are so many questions that you are unable to answer. But I tell you, I am the Lord and I change not. That God is in this place. He can recover for you. He can recover for you. He can recover for you. He can restore back. He can give you peace. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Bible says it will come to pass in that day that the day that the person in the shop places shall be removed. 
We want to pray now and tell the Lord, every concluded case, Holy Ghost, begin to review them. Begin to review them. Begin to review them. Whatever <laughs> case that they concluded, review them. Review them. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. <laughs> They thought they have won the battle. Father Lord, begin to review my case. Begin to review my case. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I will tell you something. How God can review a case of a person. There is a particular man that the enemy have, uh, is like, they have made a lot of inquiry and they have done uh, they have, their assignment and they have perfected everything. You know, it's always common to them that the witches will have perfected all their plan before they even launch anything anytime. So it happens that there is this brother that was praying for the will of God in marriage. But before he started praying for that will, because something happened before he began to uh, feel a need for that prayer. Before he began to pray that prayer, they have taken counsel in the realm of darkness, and they have decided that they were going to give him a wife to marry. As a result of this, they now send an agent to that man to begin to watch all of his movement and all of his steps. After they have carried out this assignment, have they, they known the church is going, they know his counselors, they know people that can change his mind, they know people that can alter his decisions. And so they went through all of these people and manipulated all of them even before he started. If you are listening to me, shout a louder amen. Amen. Man. And so, when he now said he should begin to pray about the will of God, then they begin to flash to him in the spirit. They were flashing that particular sister to him. So remember that if the devil wants to tempt you, it will tempt you in line with what you want. So send him a demon. And so they begin to flash it to him in the dream. Whenever he's praying, they will flash it to him. They keep flashing and keep flashing and keep flashing. So he concluded that God wanted me to marry this sister. So he, he went to meet his counselor and told him about it. Ah. Counselor said, come, let me, let me see the best. Let us pray. He prayed, and he said, ah, nothing. He, 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 she's not bad. She's, she's a very good one. So as a result of this, he proceeded to the, to the council of, the, the, like the people we can call a committee. And so he began a process. Along the line, he began to feel that, ah, there's something about this sister that is not all right. The way she talks, there are a lot of things she said that are not humanly. One of those things she said was that I went to a place and I told them to give me space so that uh, I can be doing my business there. They refused giving me a space. So what I did was to, what I did was to, I, I just I said, okay, no problem. And I left. The next thing I had, they were begging me, come. Come, come and do business there because uh, the owner of that place, the, 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 the son had already died. So is this one the testimony? There are very many horrible things that were said. So the man began to feel somehow that, oh, are you really sure that it is the Lord speaking? He now went to prayer people that if you like, you can refer to them as a prayer warrior. He went to meet them. Ah, 
He met with this one, they pray. Ah, they say she's the one. He went to that one, he prayed, they said she's the one. Look at how God used to turn the counsel of Ahitophel to foolishness. Look at how God used to review cases that have been concluded. A man of God now came to that area and visited that man that was about to get married. Say, this person you want to get married to, please, if you don't mind, can we pray? Oh, I said, no problem, we can pray. So they prayed. After that prayer, the man told, the pastor told the man, please invite the fiancé so that we can pray together. By the time fiancé came, because the man was out, uh, the, 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 the man was not in their budget. He just came from nowhere. He came not even from that territory. Can your fiancé come for prayer? So she came. And when they begin prayer, she start begin to dramatize. She start begin witchcraft demonstration. And she start begin to say a lot of things on how they plan for that brother, on how they send her to that area and begin to flash the brother. I was flashing the brother consistently. I was flashing the brother. In fact, it was it was a complete disarray, a complete confusion in the camp of the enemy because they thought that that arrangement has been concluded already. But this is how God used to disdain the plan of the enemy. You are going to pray again and tell the Lord, Lord, scatter the plan of my enemy. In the name of Jesus, every concluded case that have been sealed up for my sake, my Lord, begin to review them for my sake. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Lord, I review them to my Against my life, against my against my soul, against my life. The heart is have been concluded. Lord, uh, my God, send help out to me. And suddenly, me and suddenly, my soul. Let everything be glory and the lifter up of my head. You are my defender. You are my defender. You are the only one that can deliver me. You are the only one that can bring me. You are the only one that can bring me out. Against me and against me. I can't against any one. I can't against any one. But the light shall light and darkness shall not come. Let your light begin to shine in my life that darkness will not have a place to go. Let your light begin to shine. Let your light begin to shine. Let your light begin to shine. That darkness will not come in. That darkness will not be able to rule. That darkness will not have a final say over my life. That darkness will not prevail over my life. That darkness will not prevail over my situation. That darkness will not prevail over my family. That darkness will not prevail over my household. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus' name, we pray. In the name of Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I'm going to sing this song. You don't have to sing it because we are online. The song will scatter. I just want to sing it so that you can know it and you can use that song to pray. So you just listen to me. I'll just sing it like once or twice and then we will pray. Jesus, Jesus, you are the only one I know. Help me, help me. Let your name be glorified. Jesus, Jesus, you are the only one I know. Help me, help me. Let your name be glorified. Jesus, Jesus, you are the only one I know. Help me, help me. Let your name be glorified, Jesus, Jesus, you are the only one I know. Help me, help me, let your name be glorified. Amen. 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 Amen.
in my situation, Lord, come and help me. Send help unto me. Send deliverance unto me. Help me, Lord. Help me from my situation. Help me from the situation. Help me from this challenge. Help me from those that confront me. Help me, Lord. I need your help. I ask for your help. I call for your help. Holy Ghost, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. I need help. I need help, folks. I am crying for help. My life is crying for help. At this point of my life, what I need is your help. At this point of my life, what I need is your help. I cannot. I do not have the strength of my own. Therefore, Lord, I solely depend on you. Therefore, Lord, I totally depend on you. Help me. Holy Ghost, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. Somebody pray. Pray for help. Divine helper. He will help you. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I am asking my God, Holy Spirit, divine, help me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In my Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray that helper will not be far away from you. Amen. He said, I am the Lord and I change not. Amen. In your situation, the Lord will remain God in your life. He Amen. will fight for you, and you will hold your peace. He will Amen. go ahead of you. He will defend you. He will go Amen. ahead of you. He will restore everything that has been stolen from you. He will go ahead of you and dash to pieces the head of your enemy. He will go ahead of you and begin to speak better promises upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight, we want to pray for some people that have sent their prayer requests that we should pray for them. <laughs> they believe in your prayer. They believe that if you tell God, because he said, I am the Lord and I change not. And therefore, they believe that when you pray, demon tremble, Satan trembles. And that is why they have sent their prayer request to this platform that we may pray for them. If they do not believe in this prayer, they will not send this request. If they do not believe there is a God that answers, they will not send this request. Now, if I am sending a prayer request so that you will read it only, I will not send that prayer request. But if I am sending a prayer request for the children of God to pray, and we come together, to pray effectively, as we all know that the Bible says that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man are very that much. That effective prayer on my prayer request will generate answer. Once I know that and I believe that, then I forward my prayer request. And people have sent their prayer requests online that the children of God should pray for them. And I tell you, we will pray for them and they will get answers. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody said and wrote, kindly help me pray for my daughter. I was not at home this evening, and she called me saying that she had a voice that sounds like mine calling her. We are going to pray. Every strange voice, every voice that is not from God, any voice that is not the voice calling Samuel, Samuel. Every strange voice from the pit of hell, every strange voice that comes from the kingdom of darkness, you know, somebody told me something one day. She said, I just had a serious dream now. As I was sleeping, I was just hearing voice of somebody knocking the gate, knocking the gate, back, 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 and the person was very angry, and the person was talking. But the person is not the owner of the house. You are the owner of the house. He said the sound was so serious and was so heavy that she was hearing it in her sound, in her, in her sleep. And so she woke up out, out in a hurry and ran out to go and check. Lo and behold, there was nothing, nobody at the gate. And she said she did not know the meaning of that dream. Ah, I said, my sister, if you will not pray, then expect that there is going to be an attack within the next 24 hours. Maybe she did not see the correlation of what I said to the dream she had. Within the next 24 hours, her breath ceased. 
that she could not breathe. She was breathing with mouth. She was breathing with everything. It got to say she sat down on, on the floor and began to ask for water because she could not breathe as a result of this attack. You are going to pray now that every strange voice that is calling this particular person, that voice should cease now. And she will never hear that strange voice anymore in the name of Jesus. Shall we open our mouth and yes. pray? Father in heaven, we pray. Commit this fellow and Lord into your hand. We pray that every strange voice in that the is name calling of Jesus. that person, we command that voice you sin. in silence in now. In the name of Jesus, that voice, we voice no will take authority the over you. In we the command name you in the Jesus. name of Jesus. We that voice that will no longer be heard. We shut that place. mouth. And we shut it that down now in the name of Jesus. Hour. We will not be able to communicate in with you anymore. Jesus in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Somebody has written, he said, help me pray for my husband to have breakthrough in his life. Well, you know, sometimes we pray that prayer. It's not bad. It's a good one. But the Bible made us know that two shall become one flesh. Mm. This uh, prayer, I see it as a... Uh, as if you sideline, you sideline it, you shift everything to one person. I tell you that God can give you, you breakthrough. Say amen. amen. And God can amen. give your wife breakthrough. Say amen. If God amen. give husband breakthrough and give wife breakthrough and breakthrough comes together, it becomes breakthrough square. We are going amen. to pray that God will release a double portion of breakthrough upon this family. Shall we open our mouth and pray? Father, in heaven, we commit all this family before you. Make sure we know at the point of the end that we have to go to that family expecting breakthroughs for you. Father, we have to pray. Father, we have to pray in the name of Jesus. All around their life, O Lord. In Jesus' name, O Lord, we come together on every side. On every side, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Let there be total breakthrough. With total breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody have, have, have sent a prayer request here. He said, brethren, please. Brethren, please. Brethren, please. Join me in prayer for four of my children. Writing jump this month. Four of my children, my God. Are they quadruplet? <laughs> is it that there is elder and there is younger? And uh, they now met at the same point. The spirit of delay. The Lord will take it away from this family. Amen. If you believe in shout a louder, amen. 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 Four of my children are writing jam this month. That God will crown their effort with success. Amen. 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 Favor them with amen. Mission. amen. Amen. This very year amen. into the school of God's choice for them. Shall we open our mouth and pray for them? Almighty oh Father, we commit in the name of Jesus. Father, the Bible says that the desire of the time of the same parents to your high shall be granted. We call the Father the head and not the tail. Lord, I give them that they want this job. And God, I give them this prayer. And we the only father, I pray that by your mighty hand, make a way for them. Oh Lord, make a way for them. This year, O God, make a way for them. This year, O God, make a way for them. This year, O God, make a way for them. Lord, I pray, every spirit of the Lord, and let me pray for them. Oh Lord, we pray for that the name of Jesus, we pray for all the attempts to go to the university, to prevent their choices in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, open the way for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, for those that have prayed and are very certain 
praying that God has answered this prayer, say it louder. Amen. 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 Now let's take this one finally before we round up now. Somebody has written and said, my international passport was lost or was misplaced yesterday evening, just this yesterday evening, with uh, a valid Canada visit visa on it. This is a spiritual demon that has stolen a valuable thing from a valuable person. And uh, she now, or he or she, now wants the children of God to pray that the finder will return it after us. My visa, Canadian uh, passport, cannot uh, give any other person the same visa now. My own is my own. Your own is your own. So we want to pray now that they will find that thing. Whatever demon that have taken it, the Lord will send Holy Spirit there. Yeah. The Lord will send angels. Yeah, they will force it out of that demon, and uh, that thing uh, will be seen. She will receive it, and before June, she will be able to get it so that she can use it to uh, process what she needs to process before June. That is to say, that thing that got lost before the end of this new week, she will get it back. Did you say amen? amen. If you are in alignment amen. with me, then say another amen. 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 Open your mouth and begin to pray now that the Lord has taken the heart from the from the way. We put in our hearts and 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 we put in our Mysteriously lost, mysteriously misplaced. Where it was kept, suddenly it was not seen. This is the hand of the enemy. They don't want that person to go. But in the name of Jesus, the person will go. So where will this man will locate the person who will recover? Let the person in the passport be recovered. To the rightful owner. So that they can begin to process uh, what is needed to be processed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Father, Lord, we seal the prayers of tonight. We seal it up in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, Amen. we seal it up and we transport it to heaven. I am the Lord, I change not. Lord, I pray you begin to attend to all of these requests and give us breakthrough and give us victory Amen. and give Amen. us deliverance and give us freedom. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus, Amen. we break every yoke. You will open every closed door that have been locked. We will be open in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will make Amen. way in the wilderness. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Amen. Spirit, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. amen. Some of us that don't know that the last amen used to be a thunderous amen, then I'm telling you now that your final amen should be a conclusive amen. Give me a louder amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let's pray for Pastor that, for that uh, God will continue to be with him. The joy that God will continue to be is by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. That he will not do it in vain. Almighty God will uplift his wife. Almighty God will uplift his wife. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, have sowed in the life of many, God will sow in the life of the family. The Lord will continue to be his friend. The mighty God will continue to uphold him. By the time he looks forward, we see the mercy of the Lord. By the time he looks back, we see the mighty hand of the Lord. By the time he looks left, we see the mercy of the Lord. 
By the time we look right, we receive the mercy of the Lord. By the time we look all, we receive the mercy of the Lord. By the power and the blood of the Lord, initially, materially, spiritually, in all the areas of society, we need million in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray, let's pray for the extension of ministry. Let's pray for the enlightenment of the ministry upon his life. But not only in this online city, not only is it in the soul, is there anything that to do, we got what to do? That, but it is a part of full men, not that he's looking for females. Not that he's shooting for people who know me, but it's a part of life to me that God, uh, God, uh, God enlarges both in ministry. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Uh, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty oh God is going to enlarge his course in the ministry. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, because of the gift, because of the anointing, those people who do not know him or you say they will know. Those people who do not know me or soon they will know. Those people who do not know him or go they will know. Those people who are not known in the in the northern state they will know. Those people who are not known in the eastern state they will know. Those people who not know him in the western state they will know. Why? So that the anointing can be spread. So that people will know that there is nothing beyond anointing. Any other place, let all upon the name of the Lord. As he delivered, as he delivered, many people will be delivered. And the people that put on Jesus Christ as the devil into the dead, into the into the dead, 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 in my own language, they will, they will say, I said, I call upon the name of the Lord as it's pronounced. It will be coming to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's God is but his anointing is torn by the power he use it for the glory of the Lord. Anger will not come in. My pride will not come in. I am this will not come He will continue to bow himself before Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. He will continue to see himself as a nothing before Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. As he will open himself before God Almighty will be able to be promoted in. The chair of the Lord will continue to be his strength. The mighty hand of the Lord will continue to be his strength. Pray for him, pray for him. Pray for him, pray for him. That by his power and the power of Jesus Christ, the glory is all of you. Glory to somebody. When that is coming upon Jesus Christ, after the fasting, glory for and this is said, This is my son, in whom I am well pleased. Call upon the name of the Lord by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Upon Pastor, that for the glory of Jesus Christ, come and present this is my son, in whom I am blessed. Let's call upon the name of the Lord by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. His hand will become the hand of deliverance. His leg will become a leg of deliverance. Now his mouth will become the mouth of deliverance. Whatever he finds shall be found. Whatever he finds shall be lost. He will not fail. He will not fall. He will pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pray this prayer for yourself. And I want pastor that for we are giving you a uh, we are praying for Almighty God for you this morning. That whatever you burn shall be found, whatever you close shall be closed. Amen. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm short of word for what they call Asher in my language. I say, I, I'm using commandment. I don't know if the commandment okay. is okay. Those people who have the Asher in my language, whenever they say, go with the devil something, there's nothing you can do except you have the glory of the Lord. And that we have, we have asked from the glory of the Lord for you this morning to give it to you. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, God has given it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. You, you see it for the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be watchful, careful. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, no angry, angry statement will come out of your mouth in anything Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because from today, whatsoever you said to anybody shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No, because Amen. I'm using face, I'm using power, I mean, the reason is this. The Bible says, gather together. The Bible says, whatever you ask shall be given. And if about 15 of us can ask for one thing, 
to you from Almighty God in holiness, mm. in sincerity of mind. Not that God has given it to you. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, mm. I ask for mm. what you have never lost before, mm. you start losing them from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Whatever you have never mm. found before, you start to abandon them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Because of your, you have surrendered yourself to the mm. God that God used me. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, he will use you more than the way he has been using you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. This or the minute mm. you raise your head up. Among the minister, he will raise your head up. By the Amen. power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he will uplift your family. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will continue to stand before Almighty God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And this has been, has been asked and have been given to you according to the word of the Lord. Yes, too, we want you to be ready for, for, for us to pray for us. And the Bible says, then Peter came in. I'm reading another, another person. If we left everything and follow you, what do we get out of it? Jesus replied, Yes, you have followed me. In the creation of the world, when the Son of Man will rule gloriously, you who have followed me will also rule. This is where we are Amen. going. <laughs> For every one of us that we are in the meeting today, we will rule over we will rule over all spirituality in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You will rule Amen. over financial situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. By the, the blood of Jesus Christ, you will we, we rule over physical situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. By the power of the blood of Jesus, we are going to rule over marital problem in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are going to rule over all the principality of devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are ever we find ourselves we will be dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We will rule over money. Amen. We will rule over prosperity. Amen. Amen. We rule over all the gods and all the ministry Amen. God has given to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that our air shall be uplifted. Is that anything I've not mentioned? The ball is your hand, my brother, my sister. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. The Father, King of King, Lord of Lord. This is it, this is it, this is where I'm passing through. I want to rule over them in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear brother, my dear sister, this is your rescue. Oh, now the, the, the rod has been given into your hand. What is that rod? The rod is prayer. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ, I mean, God has forces. What is in your hand? It's a rod. The rod that rod is to the rescue and the rest is departed. Call upon the name of the Lord. Almighty oh, Father, you are giving me the power of prayer Lord this morning. And all these circumstances in my life. Father, oh, this other people are in the top, are in the bottom of the top. All circumstances in my life that are putting me into fear. All circumstances that are putting me into fear. All circumstances that are putting me into fear. Why me, Almighty Father? Father, I pray by the command of the Lord Jesus as we come together this morning. Father, all the problems that they have dismissed in the name of the Lord. Oh, my. I will rather Oh, 
Father, Lord, we thank you for the time to spend with you in prayers. Thank you, Father, because they are refreshing time. There are no time called wasted when we are in your presence. My yes, God Lord. and my Father, we have showed and we have poured out our heart unto you. You said yes. the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Lord, yes, I pray, grant yes, our heart to desire. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. You are not always happy when we are not happy. You are not yes. happy when we are in captivity. You are yes. not happy when we are manipulated. My God, oh, my yes. Father, I pray. All the work of darkness in our life, my God and my Father, destroy and expose them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My Lord and my Father, I pray that in serving you, we will not serve you in vain. Amen. Amen. And in this ministry, we will never be frustrated of any demons. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You say you will fight for us and we will hold our peace in the night. Lord, fight for us. In the day Amen. that Lord, fight for us. When we are not strong enough, fight with us. When we are not at last, fight for us. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. But I pray that all our children is secured in your hand. Our Amen. family is secured in your hand. Our Amen. ministry Amen. is secured in your hand. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I pray Lord, that all the wings of this enemy that is flying about, they will not take a toll on us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Holy Spirit, give us victory. Amen. Give us victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. A lot of prayer requests we have online that we didn't mention. And um, uh, one sister specifically sent a message that you did not read my prayer request. And read it next week. Oh. But when I now saw it, what I said in me is that the Lord start that miracle before next week. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we Amen. are all represented here. Before next week, give us testimony to cheer. Amen. Thank you. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace together. We shall meet together on the gathering of the eagles. In Jesus' name, let's share the grace together. In the grace, the grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with Praise us now God. and forevermore. Amen. 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 Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and shall join the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. We meet tomorrow. Bless you all. Thank you, sir. Definition of this is not good. Hello, sir. The service is not good. I don't know what you're handling. Hello, sir. Yes. As I, your round up, sir. The service is not good. Timothy, this works. And if I have this wonder, this works and this wonders will be demonstrated in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Point number three, our, our, our possibilities and powerlessness through the Holy Spirit. Great possibilities. I say great possibilities. Powerlessness. There's no limit when the Holy Ghost comes into your life. You cannot say, I cannot do that. I cannot go there. When the Holy Ghost comes, you'll be able to do all things your days for you to do. Testimonies upon testimonies in Jesus' name. John chapter 14, verse 12. John 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, who is he talking to? I said, who is he talking to? Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Because I go unto my Father. You see what he said? He said, those who believe on him, the works he was doing, they will do. Not because they have read the Bible from cover to cover. Not because they are so knowledgeable. But because I go to the Father, and when I get to the Father, I ask the Father to send the Holy Spirit to them, and they will receive the Holy Spirit. Look at verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. I go to the Father, and when I get to the Father, I'll pray for you. I'll plead for you. I'll tell the Father to send the Holy Spirit to you. And he shall teach you all things. And bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Those are the benefits and those are the possibilities. That if you normally forget things. You know you're searching for things every day. I, I don't know where I put that thing. And that thing I heard. 
that encouraged me. I'm trying to recollect. I cannot recollect. And at the time when I need to make use of that thing so as to be victorious, I can't remember anymore. The Holy Ghost will teach you. The Holy Ghost will bring to your remembrance everything he has told you in Jesus' name. Uh, look at Romans chapter 8 verse 11. What the Holy Ghost does, the possibilities in your life, when the Holy Ghost comes in, as he's coming in tonight, as he's taking residence in your life tonight, as he's going to abide with you, abide in you from tonight. I was waiting for amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. But if the spirit of him that traced up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies. By his spirit that dwells in you, as he comes to live in you, it will sweep every part of your body clean. Sickness, go out. Yeah. Oppression, go out. Yeah. And any part of your body, internal organs that are not functioning anymore, life will come in. Yeah. It will quicken every part of you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Second Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, with open face, Beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image. What kind of image? The image of the Lord. We're looking at the statue of the Lord. We're looking at the glory of the Lord. And then the Holy Ghost comes and we're changed into the same image from glory to glory. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. That's what he does. That's what he does. And he's going to affect it in your life. Yeah. Romans chapter 15. In Romans chapter 15, reading from verse 18. Romans chapter 15, we're reading from verse 18. It says in verse 18, For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ has not wrought by me. To make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed. Through mighty signs and wonders. By the power of the Spirit of God. Mighty signs and wonders. Are you a worker? I said, are you a worker? Are you a leader? Are you a preacher? The Lord is saying, by the mighty power of the Spirit of God. There will be mighty signs and wonders in your life in Jesus' name. And through that power, you will turn many to know the Lord. You will turn many to seek the Lord in Jesus' name. You must have faith. And why wouldn't you have faith? God cannot change. Why wouldn't you have faith? Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Why wouldn't you have faith? The Holy Ghost is so eager to come into you. He wants to abide in you. In Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Why haven't you received? Because of your unbelief. Why are you still weak? Because of your unbelief. Why do you think your prayer has not been answered? Because of your belief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove. And it shall remove. And nothing, nothing, Nothing shall be impossible unto you. I want you to think now. What happens if you just knew that nothing shall be impossible for you? There's somebody to be prayed for, and you know nothing shall be impossible for you. 
There's somebody you need to witness to. And you know that you know that you know. Nothing shall be impossible for you. And you have to remove a particular problem, a particular mountain. And you know, nothing shall be impossible unto you. The Holy Ghost will make it possible. Power from on high will make it possible. And then you'll not be retarded anymore and thinking, you know, what if I say it and nothing happens? You will know that you are going to say it and something good will happen in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 23. And Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe tonight, if you can believe tonight, if you can believe all things are possible to him, possible to her that believeth. All things are possible. I said all things are possible. I said all things are possible. That's why tonight you are trusting the Lord that as we are going to pray, whose prayer is God going to answer tonight? I said whose prayer is God going to answer tonight? God is going to answer your prayer. Second Kings chapter 2. Second Kings chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 1. I came to pass when the Lord will take Elijah into heaven by one wind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as I so liveth, I will not leave thee. That's a thirsty man. That's a hungry man. That's a desirous man. He knew he was dry. He knew he needed the power of the Holy Ghost, and he had not got it. He had been looking at Elijah, and he had been seeing the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit, and he wanted something like you want something tonight. So they went down to Bethel, and the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? He said, Yea, I know it. Hold your peace. You know, somebody wants the power of the Holy Ghost will not be talk at you. Somebody wants the power of the Holy Ghost will not, after the meeting, talk to this and talk to this and talk to this. It's expecting. Even when you have received, you want more outpouring, more outpouring. You'll not be talkative in Jesus' name. Verse 4, and Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, as the Lord liveth, and as I so liveth, I will not leave thee. And they came to Jericho, and the sons of the prophets, they're always there. They want to talk. They are always there. They want to disturb. And the sons of uh, the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry here, tarry here. Nobody will discourage you. You know, some people said, you know, I would have tarried, I would have waited, I would have got the power, I would have got the Holy Ghost, but you know, something happened. Somebody looked at me like this, I didn't like that. Somebody did this to me and ate me like this, I didn't like that, and I was thinking about that. Let go and let God. I said, let go and let God. You see, if you let go all those small, small things, then you'll be able to receive all that God has for you. You will receive in Jesus' name. And I just said in verse 6 unto him, Tarry here, I pray thee. And then he says, For the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as I so liveth, I will not leave thee. And it shall went on. And the fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view a pharaoh. And they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And they were divided hither and thither. 
And so they too went over on dry ground. And now the moment came. Your moment has come. The opportunity came. Your opportunity has come. Elisha knew that this moment will come. You know in your heart there, this moment is coming for you. And it came to pass when they were gone over. That Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, there is no not in your dictionary tonight. But if not, there's no language of not in your mouth tonight. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, and it still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by one wind into heaven, and Elisha saw it. You will see. And Elisha saw it. You know, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Your concentration. The Holy Ghost is coming. And the Lord will pitch in your heart. I have come. I have come. And when you wake up, I receive. You get in Jesus' name. And Elisha saw it. And he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel. And the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes. The old cloth of weakness, take that, throw it away. And he rent them in two pieces. And he took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah. Elijah is gone. That mantle belonged to him now. I said that mantle belonged to him now. He took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and he smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, he also had smitten the waters, he also, he did what Elijah did, you'll do what Jesus has done. They parted hither and thither and Elijah went over. And Elisha went over. And Elisha went over. He went over to the realm of miracles. He went over to the realm of power. He went over to the realm of anointing. He went over to the realm of revelation. And when the sons of the prophets that were to view at Jericho saw him, they said, the spirit of Elijah does rest upon Elisha. The spirit of Elijah does rest upon Elisha. The spirit of Elijah does rest upon Elisha. Look at Elisha before me sitting down there. Look at Elisha before us sitting down there. The spirit of Elijah. That same spirit and that same power coming upon that Elisha tonight. Coming upon that daughter of God tonight. Coming upon that son of God tonight. You are saved. Go on and pray. You are sanctified. Go on and pray. Now you are to be filled with the Holy Ghost. It shall baptize you. It shall baptize you. It shall baptize you. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He has done it before. He's going to do it again. It will fill you and fill you and fill you and fill you and refill you. Because tonight is your power night. Tonight is the night of your possibilities.